Hey, Happy New Year, everybody! This is none other than Cheese 6 I'm doing a first impression video on the new um, MMO, which is called uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic. I almost said Night of the Old Republic. Now, <coughs> now, uh, let me tell you about this game. is developed by two major companies. I'm sure you have heard of them before. Uh, is EA and Bioware, and Bioware is famous for making games such as Mass Effect 3, Mass Effect 2. Uh, Dragon Age and also the the very very um, renowned game which is the predecessor of this game uh, which is called the Knight of the Old Republic so the MM was called the Old Republic there's no knight in there alright so um, let me get to the point alright so what's what the dif what's the difference between this game and other MMO like WoW or uh, Brief is that it has um, Every time you do a quest, there's just full voice acting. So it's like it's like Mass Effect, it's like a single player game. But except the fact that this is actually a multiplayer game. So previously we had Knight of the Old Republic 1 and I think uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2, so, which is why they call it Quartor. But this is called Swartor, see? It's uh it's weird, right? But that's just a shot from my heart, like how we call World of Warcraft WoW, right? Okay? So um, what is unique about this game is not only that you, you have um, <coughs> voice acting but you have a single story from all the way from chapter 1 to chapter 5 for each class. So let, let just, just to give you a sense of how long this story is going is gonna to be is that let's say even if I, so the max level is like level 50, so even if I reach level 50, I would still be may maybe in chapter 3 or chapter 4 like I'm like now I'm already half half the maximum level which uh, level 25 and I I'm, and I think I'm barely I'm still in chapter 1 so yeah there's still four more chap chapters to go so them and what's even better is that each class has has its own unique storyline to it so which is why when you try to party up with someone because when I first played this game, I tried to party up with someone and the guy is like, No, I'm not going to party. I'm like, why are these community such jackass? It turns out because each class has its own story, right? <clears throat> so you have phases, which are basically like uh, the, the wow phase as well, which is like, every time you enter a phase, which, is, which looks green in color, I'm not sure if I can show you right now. This looks like a, green, like, like a green phase on an entrance. If you enter that entrance, then like only you can see why so if other people enter the entrance then they'll have their own face so on and so forth so it's this game is basically like eight games in one because even if you reach up to level 50 and finish like five chapters of the of let's say right now i am jedi sentinel but it's actually i am a jedi knight so they are so let's talk about classes they are all together eight classes each class has two advanced class so for me, I am a Jedi Knight. I can break into Jedi um, Sentinel, which is why I am now, which uh, dwell um, lightsabers wielder, and or you can go to Guardian, which is just one lightsaber, but they can wear like heavy armor. So you have different roles, and the gameplay varies on what advanced class, not only in terms of class, advanced class. So that's how deep the gameplay is. Um, if you're thinking whether you should get this game or not, I say hell yes. But let me warn you: you need a credit card or a or a uh, GTC, which is a game time code, to at least say like, cause you're going to buy a game, you have free 30 days, right? But they won't allow you to play because you're not uh, you're, you're not trying to you're not a gold spammer. So um, they would require you to enter a credit card, and then you can just like um, cancel a subscription if you if you feel like it. So there's someone. So I was. So like at level 25, I'm able to use a um, scooter or whatever this thing is. By the way, uh, before I go any further, I would like to say that I, right currently, I have like the like one of the eight copies in the whole of Malaysia, which is my country. Physical copies of the game. There are only eight, and I have like the last one. I bought the last one. Can you believe that? I am so damn lucky. Um, I did have some problems trying to get into this game. Which is why I had to warn you guys before trying. If you, if you are if you are thinking about purchasing this game, um, now let's see about the combat. It's basically like wow, it's a hotkey kind of combat. So you just press pew pew pew. You know you have your passive abilities, you have your active abilities, and one more thing that is unique 
to th about this game is that you have companion, which I will show you. All right, before we go into um, before we go to see um, how companion and the uh, combat works, I'm gonna show you how the voice acting and how even like side quests, almost every quest that you encounter will have voice acting. And the voice acting is just top notch, All right? So here's one of the quests that doesn't have voice acting, but you know what? I'm totally cool with it. You can read it. Is these are more on heroics? So heroics are like dungeons, but they don't quite have a story to it. But I'll talk about dungeons later on. So let's see. You know the names of your masters: Glitter Stim and Giggle Dust, Magnetar and Whiff, and I know them too. I've walked that road you walk, yet here I stand, spice free. I was addicted to Rill for 21 years, only managed to kick it when my connection dried up. That's why, for the sake of these other friends here, someone's got to cut off the supply. And, well, after hearing what you said, I have the option, I have the decision to, to, to how, how would I want to reply to him. So it's similar if you have played the previous game. It's really, really similar, and uh, I will explain more on that. So I can say, "Oh, it's a noble cause." I can telling say, me all this. So just to show you, I'm a badass. Are you always, always this open with people? You get nowhere by being silent. If you want to clean up this town, you've got to destroy the distribution network, and that's not far from here. There's real labs up and down these blocks serving thousands of addicts. Take them out, and those addicts will be forced clean by pure lack of supply. Can you imagine making that difference? So as you can see, this is a side quest simply because you have the option to refuse the quest. So it isn't like the generic MMO where you go up and it's like, it's like I don't even know what the guy is saying. It's like accept or decline, right? But this you are able to refuse. Say like no, and sometimes you can say like fuck you. Or, okay, it's not really the the, the four letter words, but basically you are, you can be rude to to your quest giver and such. So I can say it's pretty poison. We can uh, cure. Yes, I may. You have the solve. purest heart I've seen on Nar Shadda. I'm in. Oh, a compliment from a Jedi. Oh, now my head's all big. Here, I'll show you where the real labs are. They're like the hearts of the operation, or lungs, or, or something you've got a few of. Take them down and the dealers run out of product. It's all downstream from there. Okay, so that's definitely a side quest. <coughs> Let me get on my scooter here. This scooter cost me about 40,000 credits. You know, uh, 8,000 credits but 40,000 for the like like license fee or something. It's basically just a skill. But you know, if you are into role playing, just treat like a license. Which, uh, speed of license, tomorrow will be my first time trying to drive a car. Um, because I'm going to go for my um, air license for uh, car driving and uh, moto as well, motorbike. So I'm gonna show you how the combat is like. All right, uh, before I go to combat, let me show you about companions first. All right. So in the game, every time you do like you do your main quest, shit like that, you get a uh, companion. So one of the first companion you'll get is the T7 if you are a Jedi Knight. All right. So as you go along, um, you get companions, and you also have your own ship as well, which uh, comes with this C2 N2, which you know turns out to um, heal you because certain like companions are not just. A dumb bot following you. Uh, they actually do some. They actually have a role in terms of gameplay. So like T7, he's a DPSer. Uh, he does a lot of damage, but he doesn't take uh, a lot of damage because he'll die. Uh, Kira, who is a Jedi, he is, uh, she is also the same. She's a DPSer, but C2 over here, which I just found out, who's who's, who's actually a healer, is uh, more useful because I myself, Jedi counselor, I'm a healer, right? Hey, I'm a DPSer. So I do, I just, I shoot tons of damage um, and shit like that. So you have uh, three skills, you have three, uh, well these, these are called crew skills, right? So you have one crafting, you have one gathering skill, and this is a new kind of skill which you have not seen in other MMOs, it's called, uh, it's called a missioning skill, right? So let's say I click here. So you are able to send your companions out on certain missions. You don't have to like, you don't have to follow them or stuff like that, but you do have to wait like six minutes, three minutes, depending on the level on, uh, of mission. So uh, let's see if I were to send him at the um, the most expensive one, so it's this soon. So there's a bit lore behind missions, so it's not like, go here, you know, the, there are mission, there are lore, like you see, receive, follow transmission, blah, blah, blah. 
So I'm just going to click here, I send command. So I can be missioning, I can be doing my quest and um, this uh, my T7 drag will be doing the work for me. And also, such like this, as you can see, <coughs> this is crafting. So um, so it depends on your, depending on your class, you have um, certain uh, crew skills are more suitable for your class. So because I use lightsabers, right? So basically I need uh, artifacts because you can craft like you are able to change cu and customize your lightsabers uh, color and uh, all the stats is really cool um, I won't go too deep into that because I try to, I'm trying to keep this video short uh, so as you can see you can um, I'll show you, you can oh, that's my friends list no, that's my ability you can reverse engineer so every time you create a lot of stuff you reverse engineer that particular item you get like um, you uh, you'll be better and you learn more skills your skills in crafting will uh, increase so um so that's crew right that's crew so i'm going to show you how my droid actually um, heals me but before i do that okay i thought this were bad guys um let me see if i can find a destroy west lab all right so i think it should be in here uh not quite so i'm trying to find bad guys here to kick some ass all right there we go okay so okay all right uh let's see boom so you can see I'm, I'm building two lightsabers you are able to see color but uh the thing about colors and lightsabers and basically all, all the weapons is that you have light and dark side which is one of the important factors in a bio game because every time you choose let's say you do something good so it's if, uh, it's really heavy right now outside the house but whatever so every time you choose like two missions you have uh, you have certain uh, you have certain um, decision you can make so you can say like i want to kill this this all these villagers or you can say you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna ring the beacon and so that they may be safe so as you can see i'm being killed here uh, yep i uh, like that droid so yeah so let me show you so here's my like this called alignment so the more um, the more sins I, like, I don't like to say sins but the more bad things you do your meter will go down all right so why this is important is two things because certain equipments like I show you uh, as you can see forbidden for dark one and above which means if you actually if you do a lot of bad stuff and like you can see right now my alignment is light two so if uh, my alignment goes to dark one or higher then I can't use this uh, virtuous strategies like saber so there are tons of like saber um, you can see the detail of the like saber really well on the clothing I am I mean uh, cosmetically you can see uh, so the, the the thing is that like sabers you can't really change them to make it look like or like oh level 50 like sabers would have like like I don't know like because this is the Star Wars universe and even if you look Obi-Wan he's still using that lousy all uh, blue lightsaber so what what you can change is let me show you here okay i can't change that all right you can customize you see you can customize the heal the mod enhancement and the color crystals all right so color crystals are somewhat important cosmetically because <coughs> if you there are basically two factions i'm in the republic and there's the empire so if you enter the empire you are able to use red lightsabers and purple lightsabers but it requires you to be uh your alignment right here to be in the dark side so if your, if your alignment is like dark one two or whatever then you can use the thing about this is that it gives you freedom to choose so even like i'm on the empire i mean i'm on the republic side which is supposed to be the good guy if i in my quest i keep you know i keep doing bad stuff i can go into dark one and eventually use all those uh, cool lightsabers that the empire uses so same goes for republic as well i mean same goes for the empire as well if they do a lot of good stuff, they are able to use like the color of my lightsabers right here. Alright, I have to wear, I have to use. Uh, what is it? Is it this? You're alright, yep, it's this. So, yeah. Uh, so, let me talk. Uh, about other things is that the graphic, so as you can see, graphically is quite pleasing to the eyes. It's a bit cartoony, but not as definitely not as cartoony as WoW is, but it has a bit of that kind of. It's, it's more on the, uh, what is it called, the texture? No, the, uh, the feel of the game, you see? The feel of the game. So right now, as you can see here, there's now Shada 8 people. The reason why there are only 8 people is because I'm in, right now it's like 7 p.m. here, but it's 7 p.m. in the less time zone. 
So I'm playing in the United States um, server. So you basically this game is actually not launched in Malaysia or anywhere else in Asia or Australia, but America and uh, United Kingdom, uh, the Europe, the European region. The reason is because they wanted to have a smooth gameplay, smooth, smooth, uh, no uh, lagless gameplay and whatnot. But uh, as you can see, there's no lag in my gameplay, and uh, I have I have two bars out of four. My latency is about three eight eight, which I mean, come on, it's not bad, man. And uh, so yeah, I think uh, I think I covered most of it. All right, uh, I forgot to talk about flashpoint. I'm gonna get uh, so flashpoints are like basically dungeons, but one of the first flashpoint for each faction would have a uh, you would have a story in it. So you basically talk to this guy, blah blah blah, and then you are able to choose whether you want to do good or bad. So as you can see, after waiting for six minutes or three minutes, uh, my droid came back saying, "You know what? Here's what I got from the mission. You just send me a uh, fire node, great one gemstones." All right, okay, you know. So as you can see, I don't have to do anything else. You can leave everything to your companions to do. All right. So uh, back to the dungeons or flashpoint, as they call it. Uh, so let's say like. There's this one flashpoint. Excuse me, which is the one of the first flashpoint for the Republic faction. Uh, after you, um, after there's one point where you can make a decision to actually um, either go through um, having a longer gameplay because you have to kill even more guys to get to that sector of the ship to disable the engine or something, or you are able to just like. Um, or, um, this um, release one of the sectors of the ship but you kill the engineers in there so if you choose to kill the engineers in there so you lose uh, you get you, you get a bad side point over here so you get the dark side point right so um, so basically it's like that so it, it depending on how you choose in a flashpoint your flashpoint can play out uh, differently really really differently so like I mean, I play through both. I I play through the flashpoint, choosing the light side and the dark side. And if I choose the light side, I would have to um, go into the sector and then kill even more guys, you know, which uh, increase my risk of dying. But um, or I can choose to say, you know, fuck you guys. You guys can die, and you would not have to. Um, you don't have to go through and go through the sector and kill all the bad guys and you can just skip one section of the flashpoint so that's basically how flashpoint works you have your ship as i said before the ship um so there are also space combat in this game space combat are like they are basically whatever they say uh, it's like x-wing tie fighter or something so you, you can't control how your ship move it isn't like if online it's just your mouse and then you can do like a barrel roll and you can shoot but it's definitely graphically pleasing it, Graphically, it is outstanding. It's, it's, it's like watching the, it's like watching one of those scenes from the Star Wars movie. It's just, it's just awesome. All right, it's just awesome. But there, there's definitely not, not, not much depth in the space combat. But you are able to customize your um, ship, how, like how I customize my weapons. But it doesn't help that much. There isn't much uh, customer. But it's definitely um, gameplay wise. I mean, it's uh, definitely a nice distraction from a usual missioning. Which I'm doing right now. Uh, so I think I have covered most of what Star Wars: Your Republic is. If there's more, I would make a part two or something. But uh, yeah. So again, this is Cheese Your Six. Remember to subscribe, comment, like my videos. You know, show some support for the Southeast Asia community. Although there there, there aren't that many. But yeah. So uh, see you guys later.